Hey babes, what's up and welcome back. I hope you all are doing really well. I decided it was time to do a Gymshark haul. So today I'm going to share with you all the pieces that I've picked up. It's been a serious hot minute since I've done one and there's been so many new and exciting releases on their website, especially as of late. And I finally picked up and got to try out a few pieces from Whitney Simmons latest collection as well. Oh, I'm so excited. So if you want to see everything that I got and my thoughts on each, then just keep on watching. In true fashion, let's get started with sports bras first. So the very first one that I wanted to show with you is just a tried and true classic sports bra from Gymshark. This is just one that you cannot go wrong with. It is a classic racerback style sports bra. It's so simple yet so effective for working out. If you've never tried Gymshark before, I just always recommend this one. It is so soft and it's really lightweight, but not to be confused with being thin because it's definitely not thin. It has some really great thickness to it. It also has removable padding in it. I decided to just keep it in, but it's really nice and supportive. The reason why this one is one of my favorites is because it's just so easy to get on and off. There's nothing worse than when you're done with a sweaty workout and you're struggling to take off your sports bra because it's too tight. So I love that I don't have that problem with this one. And then I just love this brown. It's such like a deep neutral color brown. It's honestly super delicious. And then I just love all the detailing throughout too, like the shade contouring it too. Good coverage. So yeah, all around really good one. Next one up, I got the Adapt Fleck sports bra, which is in another really pretty brown color. Actually, let me compare the browns for you. I already threw the other one. Okay, so this is what the difference in browns look like. The last one is a mineral brown, and then this one is a brown marl. This one has slightly warmer tones to it, and it is a little bit lighter as well. Hopefully that picks it up on camera. I've been really into browns lately, and I really love the Adapt line, especially the sports bra, because it's just, it's unique. It's like super strappy. It's double layered. It has pretty impressive compression in this. So I know that's going to be perfect for my training or any sort of cardio or running days as well. The design is just so cute. I think the only drawback to this is the straps on the back are not adjustable at all. So I figured I would mention that for you guys. There is obviously a removable padding in this bra as well. So this is totally my bad. I think I got this and one of my last Gymshark hauls as well. And of course I didn't try to reference the size in my drawer. So I thought it was a size extra small in this, but uh, I definitely am not. I would absolutely recommend sizing up in this sports bra. It does sit pretty tight in the chest. So I feel like it would have fit better if I got this in a size small instead. Next one up is from the Adapt line as well, but you can see that this is their Animal Collection one, and it is also a high neck sports bra, which you guys know I'm a massive fan of high neck sports bras. I just feel really nice and supported and covered and don't feel like anything is going anywhere in these sort of sports bras. The material of this one is slightly different than the last one. So this Animal Collection one kind of has like a knit material versus the last Adapt sports bra is very much like a smooth material, both super, super, soft but it gives off like a slightly different texture to it this is a medium support sports bra too figured i should mention that and then the back of this you guys this detail this crisscross detailing so freaking cute love it so much of course there's removable padding in this sports bra as well they all have removable padding but my god the size of this one so similar to the last one i think it might be an adapt thing considering that these are both from the Adapt collection. But anyways, I got this in a size extra small. It is so unbelievably small. It was really difficult to get on for the try-on portion of this for you guys, but I did. I was pretty impressed, but it's really, really tight in my chest. So definitely size up in this one. It definitely runs pretty small. Next one up is a bandeau style sports bra. And you guys, I am so obsessed with this sports bra. It is definitely a low support sports bra, so it's not meant for any intense workouts. And I honestly just see myself wearing this more casually anyways especially given the fact that it is pretty booby on me. I did get this in a size extra small, but because this underband fit me so well, I definitely wouldn't size up in this to a size small. So I think that if you are a similar waist or under bust size to me with the same bust size as me, you might have similar concerns with this. But if you are a smaller cup size, this is obviously going to be a really great sports bra for you. Love me a square neckline sports bra. I feel like it's just one of the most flattering cuts, at least on me. 
and then the straps on these are adjustable and this white is not going to be see-through at all it is double lined and the material is thick and yet the material is still really really soft too i really like this one i feel like this would look really cute right now if i paired this with like this jean jacket and wore it casually you know okay so the last one that i picked up is this ruched style sports bra with a v cut in the front i don't typically gravitate towards things that are v-necked but my god this is so flattering on i really like this one i feel really nice and supported and snug and i love that this is a medium support sports bra so it's going to do really well for any sort of workouts that i'm doing the scrunch in the front is just so cute it adds such a nice detail the straps in the back are crisscross and they are adjustable which we really like to see the color name of this one is called cherry brown and i feel like that's a really good description for the color of this got it in a size extra small as well and that's a really good size in this for me so next category i do have one sweatshirt to share with you and it is one from the whitney simmons collection the latest collection unfortunately all of like the sports bras were sold out so i couldn't get my hands on one even though i really really wanted to try the style that she released was just so cute so anyways we'll see if it comes back in stock but with the sweatshirt, I ended up getting this cropped sweatshirt with like this little cinched band here at the bottom. This one really reminds me of the Aloe Yoga one. If you guys watch my recent Aloe Yoga haul, this just is like screams almost the exact same. So this one, I'm going to be honest, it is completely fine. In my opinion, it's nothing to write home about. If you're looking for a very reasonably priced cropped sweatshirt, then this one is definitely a winner. It's really lightweight, it's comfortable, and it's a good size and fit overall. I ended up getting this in a size extra small. The exterior of this is really soft, but I do feel like the interior of it could be a little bit softer. This is completely unlined. You can see at the top here, it has like her little phrase, but on the other side, you can see kind of like the cover up of the embroidery from it. My personal opinion, but I feel like with it being unlined, like this and it being like pretty thin it just kind of feels like a little bit cheap but this honestly could be a really good option for the spring and summertime if you wanted like a really nice lightweight sweatshirt and I do love the tone of this I think all of the colors that she chose were so on point and I just find them so gorgeous like this mink color is absolutely stunning okay I'm gonna move on to bottoms I have both shorts and leggings to share with you and then I'll cap it off with sharing a jogger too but I should just make a blanket statement when it comes to all of the shorts and all the leggings everything is squat proof and I did wear a skin colored seamless underwear when wearing these I feel like that's just always the way to go especially if you're veering like more light colored leggings but anyways let's dive into shorts the very first pair up is the Whitney Simmons mesh shorts I am very pleasantly surprised about these these look so good on they are so flattering and I feel like they make my butt look really good too and I think the reason for that is because the back of this has like a little bit of a bunt scrunch and what I like about this butt scrunch is that you cannot see it at all so it's very subtle and it hides very well so I think that that detail was absolute perfection but the front of these does have a seamless construction which is really good so no like front seam here it sits up really high rise it's really nice and tight around the waist so I don't feel like it's gonna roll down or anything like that it is a six inch inseam which is like my absolute favorite inseam length for shorts the leg opening fits pretty nice and snug against my thigh so it's not like overly tight or anything like that these front mesh panels they're not completely sheer but they're like sheer ish so like if I stick my finger right here you can't like really see my finger but when this is like laying against your skin and especially if you were to get this probably like in the mink color I would just be mindful of wearing skin colored underwear with these sort of shorts and this one is in the eucalyptus color oh I love this color so much and then of course it has like a little bit of branding on it too it has like this gold plate in the front that says Whitney Simmons on it and then it has her phrase kind of going along the whole band of this saying that it's a beautiful day to be alive I personally am not like a huge fan fan of like overly excessive branding so I feel like you could have had like one or the other or in my personal opinion I just would have taken them both off but regardless I feel like this is definitely a pair that I can work out or chill in next pair of shorts I got is the adapt camo shorts so this is a seamless construction short the material is really soft and actually has some weight to it which i like it sets up a really high rise it fits really well around the waist this is a five inch inseam so still within that range that i feel is totally acceptable on me that i like for being five one this actually has a little bit of like a ruche detailing on the side which i don't know if i'm necessarily for that i don't know what the purpose is of it maybe it's to keep the shorts from riding up but it does make this part sit pretty tight around my thigh 
and it kind of makes me look like I have cellulite when I don't. So yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I think I would have been interested to see what this pair looked like with a little bit of a bunt scrunch on it to see if it looked a little bit more flattering on my butt versus maybe looking like I have like a unil butt. <laughs> but it does have a very light seam going down the back. I did get this in a size extra small, which is a good size for me in these shorts. And then this is in the cherry brown color. So I paired it with that sports bra that I showed earlier. And I don't know if this is necessarily like a camo print, but I actually really like this print. I think it's really cute. So moving on to leggings now, I did pick up both of the Whitney Simmons leggings, the regular just high rise leggings is what it says as the title. And then the mesh high rise leggings. I wasn't really sure which one I would like better. So I figured I would just get both so that I could compare them. So let's start with the mesh ones first. I think that I prefer this pair. And honestly, when it comes to the leggings and the shorts, I'm much more impressed with her line than I thought I was going to be. For this one in particular, I love all the seam detailings that is throughout it. it has really cool seams around the waist, like with the butt, it has the bunt scrunch. It has these like little mesh panels and seam detailings going around the butt and on the thigh too. Too. So in that regard, they are pretty cool. I feel really supported in these and they are really comfortable to wear too. I feel like this is one that could do really well with workouts, but then also wearing more casually. The material definitely feels like second skin. It's really soft and they advertise it to be like that buttery like material, which I would say that it is, but it's nothing to be compared against with the lines, but they are really, really good in their own way. They are much thinner. If I was to compare it to a lines or just a legging in general, it's pretty thin. Thin, but for some reason they are still squat proof. So that's pretty impressive. The branding on this one is much more simple. It just has the gold bar by itself and then the Gymshark logo in the same tone in the back. So I really prefer the minimal branding on this pair in particular. So moving on to the high rise legging is how it's titled. The fit of this one is pretty identical to the last one in terms of the comfort level, the material and the size. So I got both of these in a size extra small, which is a really good size for me. These both it high rise. I would say that this pair, this waist fits a little bit tighter than the last one. And this one does have very minimal seam detailings as well compared to the other one. They both have the subtle butt scrunch on these that make your butt look so good. I don't know how she did it because having a butt scrunch on your leggings, it can be pretty challenging because you don't want to be able to see the scrunch of it. You wanted it to just be like nice and tucked and doing its job of making your butt look good. But for some reason it's challenging to accomplish that in the right way, if this is making sense, but I feel like she did it really, really well. I think the very last thing that I would mention about just both of these leggings in general is the color of this is mink, which is a color I really gravitate towards. Very beigey, neutral, just right up my alley. While the material is thin and while it is still squat proof and while I do recommend wearing a skin color underwear with it, for some reason, because of the color of it, I feel like this color is a little less forgiving. I feel like it shows a little bit of cellulite on my butt, which isn't something that I'm used to seeing. So while I love this color, maybe I would stick to the darker colors like the eucalyptus or the black and stuff like that instead of this. I don't know. Moving on to the Dapped Animal Seamless Leggings. Okay, Gymshark makes some of the best leggings, like seamless leggings. I don't know how they do it, but if you've tried to find any sort of dupes on Amazon, which I've done in the past, something about the Gymshark ones just can't compare. Like the waist fits so impeccably well, especially on the Adapt line. And seamless leggings, I always have issues with the waist not being tight enough or with them being gaping. And I just do not have that issue at all when it comes to these leggings. This pair in particular has a little bit a butt scrunch on it so it obviously makes your butt look really good and all of these leggings are, just have the perfect inseam length that just makes them so perfect for petites they hit me right at my ankle like a little bit below so it's like the full like 25 inch inseam the material of this is just so so soft and it has a little bit of weight to it too these ones in particular have kind of like a knit feeling to it which is kind of cool they're still sweat wicking and they offer like tons and tons of stretch in them too and I'm kind of just here for the black like animal print. I feel like it's subtle enough if you want to venture out and have like an animal print, but you didn't want something to be like too loud. You know, I really like these. 
And then here is the dabbed fleck leggings. So of course I had to get like all matching sets and everything. It's just a complete vibe. I love matching sets. So yeah, the adapt line, very similar to the last pair. These fit like almost identical. The only difference is the material. And this one doesn't have a butt scrunch on it. But yeah, the waist fits so well. I love the adapt line so much. They fit just so well. I know I've said that a million times, sorry, but they really do. This brown color is just so delicious. And I love just like the subtle little flecking throughout too. They sit up high rise, they're sweat wicking, same inseam length of about being 25 inches. And I got this in a size extra small as well. Last legging up is the Vital 2.0 seamless leggings in this gorgeous brown color again. The Vital line for some reason fits a little less tight around my waist than the Adapt line does. I'm not sure why that is. If I'm just standing around, it sits really flat, so it looks good, but it just feels a little bit looser. And I'm pretty positive that if I was to work out in it and do squats and that sort of stuff, that the back of it would gape a little bit once I bent down. So this feels like a pair that I might be like tugging on a little bit. But on the vital line, I just love all of the shade contouring pattern throughout the whole legging. It's just such a signature look for a Gymshark and I just feel like it adds better shaping and makes them look so flattering on you. These are definitely really comfortable. I love the material of these. This is something I feel like I could wear all day. So yeah, definitely a really good pair. I just wish that maybe they had another size in this or maybe they can make the waist the same as the Adapt. That would be the dream. Okay, so last item up, I did pick up the Whitney Loose Joggers. I got this in the mint color to match the sweatshirt and I did get this in a size extra small as well. So I have a very similar sediment to this one as I did with the sweatshirt. I mean, it's exactly the same material. So in regards to the material, my thoughts are exactly the same. This is a very lightweight. The inside is unlined. So any part that it had any embroidery, you can see the fabric on the other side of this. Other than that though, it is a very relaxed fit. It does have like slight tapering towards the bottom of the leg and they're not too long on me either which I actually really liked it has two pockets on them so yeah they're really comfortable they're really lightweight again I'm just not really a fan of the thinness and the material in the inside I would prefer it to be more soft or maybe I'm just more partial to like fleece interiors to pants the other thing on this is that it does sit really high rise which of course I love but with that on me it looks like I have a little bit of a drop crotch so I'm not a huge fan of that look on me personally they do say on the website that you can roll the top band of this for a little bit tighter of a fit but I don't typically like rolling my bands because they never stay put especially if you're to like sit stand and all that sort of stuff you're gonna be fussing with it so much but otherwise if you're looking for a really lightweight sweatpant and if you don't mind kind of like the terry cloth I don't even know sort of interior to this especially at a very affordable price point and with the matching set I think that that looks really cute together too all right, you guys, that is it for the haul. That is everything that I wanted to share with you. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. Share with me down below what pieces were your favorites or if there's anything else from Gymshark that you wanted me to try out. Or honestly, let's open up the floor. If there's any other brands or things that you wanted me to try out, just let me know. And obviously you guys know the drill by now. My sizes are down in the description and everything that I mentioned throughout this video will of course be linked down there as well. The color, the size, the name of the item, the link to the item, and of course anything that I'm wearing right now I will link down below for you guys as well before you go please do not forget to subscribe and also feel free to give me a follow over on Instagram I'm Carissa Renee I hope you guys have a great rest of your day a great week and I'll see you in a couple of days in my next video bye guys love you so much mm -hmm.